Hi everybody, I'm Andrew Stefan's brother for cg.spots.com and in this tutorial we are going to create a Canon EFS 55-250mm lens in 3D Storm Max. So let's start with creating a cylinder. After that click A to turn on the angle snap toggle and rotate it. Then we have to reduce the height segments to 1 and change the sides to 110. Now we have to convert it to a so poly and select these vertices here and move them to this line here. Do the same with the bottom part. Now we have to select the top and the bottom polygon and extrude them with 4 is good now we have to select every second polygon like this but I will pause the video and when I'm ready I will continue ok now we have to extrude these polygons with negative value so minus 4 is pretty good and we have to create this furrow here so let's go to front view and move the element a little bit to see where the furrow is and connect two loops with minus 55 pinch is good and again with 55 but positive pinch is pretty good and now we have to select all these vertices in this line but without the inner one so go back to polygon mode and click ctrl i to select invert and now just deselect these polygons here and click on shrink and now hold control and click vertex so we have selected these vertices here and we have to scale them like this now we have to select these polygons here and click inset and then bridge get the result like this now we have to connect loops close to the edges here and here also here and this part now apply turbo smooth with iterations 2 and you can see there there's a problem so to fix that select this loop here and click ring and after that we have to connect two more loops and go back to turbo smooth so that's our result here and we can continue with the bottom part here create another cylinder reduce the size to 32 and rotate it again convert it to a poly and click S to turn on the snap stereo and move these vertices to this line here then turn off the snap stereo and 
move these vertices to this one here. So select the bottom polygon here and hit BO. Then we have to select the bottom and top polygon and hit inset to get something like this and then bridge after that select all whoops here and apply chamfer with power amount and two edge segments so when we apply turtle smooth that's our result it's pretty good and we can continue with this element here we have to create another cylinder and rotate it then convert it to a of poly and move these vertices here and select the bottom polygon here and hit extrude and once again with smaller height and after that select this loop of polygons here and again hit extrude but you can see there's problems so change this to local normal and reduce the height minus 2 is good then we have to select this polygon here and click on below hit apply and continue and reduce the height a little bit and change the outline then apply inset like this and extrude after that click on inset again but with negative then click on vivo but change the height to zero and the outline must be positive so there's our polygon you can see and hit apply change the outline to zero and the height to something like this after that again apply and reduce the height and change the outline then we have to apply inset and extrude with negative height so at this point here in the inner part we have a little ring so we have to hit inset again and then extrude so go to isolation mode holding out and Q and delete the top polygon and hit inset to this polygon here after that delete delete it also and move this hole to here to this point here 
and select these two borders and hit bridge after that we have to remove this swoop here and select all select this ring here and make it to loop but uh, we don't want to select this loop here so deselect this edge here and select the loops after that apply chamfer with smaller amount and two edge segments so we have to apply turbo smooth now it's pretty good result now we have to create this part here so create another cylinder and change the size to 200 after I rotate it and align it to the center of this element here convert it to a poly and move these vertices here and this here now just like before we have to select every second polygon like this and I will pause the video again and when I'm ready I will continue ok now when we have selected all these polygons we have to extrude them again but with negative value minus 3.5 is pretty good and then go to isolation mode again and extrude the top and the bottom polygon and also we need to delete these polygons here so go to front view control A to select all polygons and then deselect this in the middle and delete these polygons here after that we need to select this ring here and white chamfer with power amount and after that apply turbo smooth exit isolation mode and you can see that's our result here it's pretty good so let's continue with this part here actually that's the most difficult element in the whole lens so in this picture we can see all details we have to create and we can try to create another cylinder and make all details but it will be very hard to do this so let's create a line and follow the shape so now here we have to create a straight line so hold shift and now we have straight line and now when we can't continue with this part here we have to click I on the keyboard and the center of the viewport will be where is our cursor so we can continue Now let's cross the line and go to isolation mode. After that select the vertex mode and change the position of these two vertices to this here. So turn on the snap toggle again and move them. After that we have to select this segment here and divide it by two. Then move this vertex here and this here and now again select this segment here and 
divided by 5 and now select all these vertices and move them like this now again select this segment here and divide it by 25 and now select every second vertex like this after that move them like this and now go to modifier list and apply late modifier so exit from the uh, isolation mode and go to front view select the axis and move it to this line here so we can turn on the snap toggle and use this line so we, sh we are sure that is perfect now change the sides to 33 and right click to convert to a whole poly now here to this group of polygons we can see we have these three details so let's create them go to front view and click out and X to see through our object and you can see that this line isn't matching with this here so go to hierarchy menu and change the pivot points to the center of the object and then rotate it with 25 degrees is pretty good and now select this 5 polygons here and this 5 here and this 5 here but also select this here so we have to extrude them with value that if we go to bottom view we can see where is our polygon here so we have to change the value to something that match that is matching to this line here so change this to local normal and reduce the height something like this is very good now we have to select these vertices here so we can see that is this two here and match them with this here so turn on again the snap toggle and move them to this point do the same with the other vertices Okay, now we can continue. So here from the inside we can see we have a polygon here. So delete it and we have one here, delete it also and now target weld this vertex to this here and select these two words here and move them to this here so 
this one is perfect now and select this ring here and connect two loops do the same with the other parts after I select this ring here and this here and connect more loops do the same with each side Ok, now we have to select this edges here and connect a loop close to this line here so now if we apply turbo smooth we can see this is our result here and this is the places that we don't have these loops so let's deselect this and remove these two we can do this holding control backspace so I will pause the video and when I'm ready I will continue. Now I'm ready and to this section here the unfinished loops must be like this. So this is the start point and this is the end point here. So if we apply turbo smooth we can see that's our result so far and let's select this loops here and apply a chamfer with edge segments 2 and then also select this loops here we can use this arrow here on the ring so it's easier to select the rings now go to isolation mode and we can see what we have selected here so let's play chamfer again and let's see connect a loop close to this edge here here then connect one more here and 
now that's our result so we can proceed with this part here this is actually a separated object so let's go to this from here and select 8 polygons and now apply extrude with negative value and hit detach now select this ring here and connect a loop close to this edge here and let's see let's select this edge here and this here so we can connect again unfinished loops like this select this here and remove this here do the same here now if you apply turbo smooth we can see we have pretty pretty good result here so let's continue and connect two more loops close to this and this edge here and now that's our result it's pretty good so let's create this object here so select the polygons and apply extrude with positive value something like this is good and then again like this actually move this polygons to this line here and now let's select this here and go to isolation mode only in this element here and use target weld to weld this vertices here and now select this edge here and change the constraints to edge and move it like this then move this vertex like this and now let's connect some loops close to the edges here and here also select these polygons here and change this to none and move them like this now connect one loop to this edge here connect tubes here
actually don't first connect here with pinch something more and now select this ring here and connect the loops after that because we want to connect this vertices we can hold control and click to vertex mode so we have selected all the vertices here we select this and we have selected only this here select the third one and connect them now if we apply turbo smooth we can see what we have here but uh, here it's not very good so let's connect one loop here and now we want this here to be more rounded so let's select this vertices here and change again this to edge and scale them like this now just move the vertices like this do the same with the other side Now if you apply it to smooth we have a better result here and here. Let's do the same with this edge here. We can select the loop and apply chamfer. And now just again hit the vertex mode and deselect this versus here and scale this but you can see here is like this but here is inversed so let's deselect this and scale this Now we are ready and can exit isolation mode and see what we have here. It's pretty good results I think. So we can continue with this cap here from the bottom part. Actually no, I forgot to create the holes for this screw here. We have one, two, three here, four and five. This one is smaller. And this button here, these two here, so we have more to work at this element. So go again here and go to editor poly. And select this furrow here go to isolation mode so we have selected only this 
object here and let's see now we have to connect three loops here and our first point to create a hole for the screw is here so let's select this edge here and connect three loops and then select these polygons and hit inset twice like this and then select this loop here and from the loops menu here choose loop tools and hit circle you can see what we have now select the polygons like this and delete them after that select the hole and using shift and drag move this like this so now for the other holes we have to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 ok here we have to create another hole so I will pause the video and when I'm ready I will continue when we are ready we have to select the holes and hit cap after that we have to select every loop like this and after that apply chamfer with something smaller like this and now if we apply turbo smooth we can see that's our result here it's pretty good so let's go to front view and exit iteration mode now if we click out and text we can see through our object but this furrows here stays in front of our reference so we can see this part here so let's select these polygons here and hit height unselected so now the polygons that we aren't selected is hided and we can see them it's only these 8 polygons and now let's apply extrude like this and change this to group after that scale it like this After I select these polygons here and apply inset like this and now change this to edge and select this vertices here and move them to this line here like this try to follow the lines like this and now do the same with this part here now when we are ready go back to polygon mode and hit unhide all so we can see everything and select this ring here and connect let's see one loop here and 
one here connect one more loop here and that's all for now so here is this button so let's make it select this edges here and connect to loops like this we need to get some square shape here so I think this is ok and now let's select these polygons here and extrude them with negative value and after that detach these polygons here and now let's connect one loop close to this edge here and let's see now let's select this vertex here and this here we have to cut them so click here and use again I to move like this and now we have this line here let's do the same here now select this two edges here and this one here after that we have to connect two loops like this and use target weld for this verse here and connect two more loops here like this <coughs> and let's use cut again for these vertices here like this and here now connect one loop close to this upper edge here and one here but uh, this wouldn't be a loop because if we connect one loop here and when we apply turbo smooth we have this line here so we don't want this let's undo this and select only this edge here and connect this now use target weld for this here and select this vertex here and this here and connect them like this now select this edge here and connect one loop like this 
and after that target will this versus here do the same here And now if we apply, apply those modes, this is our results.